Before atonement, before nutshell, before enduring love, Ian McEwan was obsessed with sex, death, and the convergence of the two. Do you like being drugged and watching your partner get brutally murdered by two people you just met? Do you like meditating on the dark recesses hidden in the hinterlands of societal norms where love and passion can nonetheless sometimes be found? Then you'll love The Comfort of Strangers. Ian McEwan's second novel, released in 1981, concerns the fate of a loving but bored couple, Mary and Colin, who are seduced and eventually destroyed by another couple, Robert and Caroline, while on holiday in an unnamed European city, heavily implied to be Venice. While Mary talks to Caroline and finds out that her disability was brought about when Robert broke her back while they were having sex, Colin goes on a long walk with Robert and finds him to be domineering and aggressive. When the four finally come together in one room, in the bloody climax of the book, the protagonists realise it isn't passion or history that tie Robert and Caroline together, but death and destruction. The Comfort of Strangers is a savage and nauseating study into the lengths people will go to to find love in their lives, the extreme forms that intimacy and passion can sometimes take, and how troubled childhoods can lead to troubled adulthoods. I can't recommend it enough, but I do have to warn you, I didn't sleep for about three days after I read it.